Are you constantly running out of cloth in Sunken Land? This video is hopefully going to help you out. However, now I was hoping... I was hoping to create a beautiful little video here to teach you how to farm cotton in this game in Sunken Land. However, unfortunately, it's just not an option. I'm hoping that changes in a future update, but for now, you can go and collect cotton. And I'm going to show you exactly where you can grab that cotton from. However, you may get seeds from what you collect off the islands. You can't, however, get seeds back. It's a little bit unfortunate. I'm hoping that changes in a future one, because if you plant them, I've planted about 30 to 40 crops now. You don't get anything back, which is really unfortunate. So it, there is no way to actually farm it. However, just going back to the islands every couple days is going to give you access to more and more cotton because it does just spawn randomly just like strawberries and mushrooms everywhere else i'm going to show you the exact islands in a little bit before i do that though if you do like this content make sure you hit that subscribe button i'm going to be uploading tutorial videos on sunken land and a new mega build coming very soon uh, we're uploading the tutorials daily on stuff that you're going to need especially for starting out and getting those hard to get resources cloth is gold in this game and hopefully this video helps you get all that you need all right so like i said we're going to be looking for cotton today now there are four islands that i know of and i'm going to chuck the coordinates for those islands in the description down below as well as pop them up on the screen right now down the bottom so those four locations are where you can grab cotton from okay first and foremost the easiest one to get to and the closest one is radio island i'd recommend grabbing yourself a speedboat before you even think about doing this or a boat of some kind you're going to want to get that little bit extra pace going because we have to adventure to these locations here now i'm gonna bring up my map real quick so we've got castaway island that's where we usually are set up your base forever by the way it doesn't really matter Radio Island is our first stop. We're going to check for cotton there. Then we've got to go further out to the Green Isle, which is over here. We've got to go to the Ruins, which is way up the top of the map, and Faraway Island. Those are our stops. Let's go visit them and grab some cotton. Now, with the Red Islands on the map way up the top here, they are very hostile, they are terrifying, please keep that in mind when you're going there. It is dangerous, okay? Any of these red islands have much stronger enemies with a lot better weaponry than you probably have when you're specifically searching for cotton. Alright, our first stop, Radio Island. With any journey you take, make sure you bring some food and some water with you. It will be a lifesaver towards the end of this. Uh, especially if you're going to take any damage, you do not want to have to go back out here by swimming. That sucks. Just make sure you look all the way around the island. There's one right there. Let's go. Now, you do get, what, three cotton, one seeds, and some fishing bait. So this is also a really good way to get yourself some consistent fishing bait. However, these further islands away are not the most sustainable source of that. Uh, I'll have another video out on bait very soon. The Green Isle is where we're heading next, and it is actually one of the safer ones. A lot of the enemies that you will encounter are actually inside the main base, whereas you can find the cotton just outside by walking around. So that's very good news for us, especially when you're starting out. You don't want to be taking on high-end enemies that early into the game. It is uh, rough. <laughs> All right, we're at the Green Isle. We're going to hopefully track some stuff down. And I'm going to loot a few things while I'm here as well. All right, so you can hear the music. They're just inside. I'm, f I'm safe out here. There are a couple of guard towers. Try to stay away from the host because you will get shot at. But predominantly, you can get kind of up close and personal with this place. Now, one thing with this cotton, and I'm assuming everything else in the game, has like a, has like a two to three in-game day spawn. Okay, so if you... Oh my god, where'd you come from? Oh my goodness! So if you've looted an island, they've got a one to two day respawn time. 
So if you've looted an island, make sure you give it a bit of extra time before you come back. I wasn't able to find any cotton on this one. I know it's here, though. This is where I got it from last time. We're going to get out of here so I don't get shot or killed. And go check out the next couple of islands while we still have a little bit of daylight. Whoa! All right, so we're not going to be venturing onto this one, but this is another one of those islands. Keep this in mind. This one is very hostile, and it is not a safe place to go. But if you want cotton and you're willing to risk it, you could. I know it's there. I grabbed some from there. But, uh, very dangerous. Be careful. This one is a little safer to go and search. There's some right there. I'm going for it. This is bold and risky. One, two, and I'm out of here. Yep, two cotton. I'm going. This island looks really good for cotton and a bunch of other stuff. All right, now that it's starting to get a bit too dark, we're going to go check Faraway Island super quick. I see a cotton plant. I'm going for it. Some nice, easy access to cotton all amongst these islands. Get over here. Ah, run away! Make your way over to these islands. Use whatever boat you feel confident with. I like this one. Is fast. Now that we're back and it's morning, this was our haul just from a quick little trip. So we got 18 cotton, 8 seeds, and a whole bunch of bait. Now... Like I said at the start of this video, unfortunately planting those seeds just yields a crop and it only gets you two per crop. Now I've tested this with a lot of different plants. It is a little bit sad, like I said, I really hope that changes because I would love to be able to farm cotton. Cloth is such a necessary resource in this game that farming it would be the most economical way other than having to drive to forever away for those islands faraway island ruins like over here and it's just a lot it's a lot to do that but those are the locations that give you the best chance of finding cotton you can probably find it elsewhere but those ones are guaranteed venturing to all of these islands is how i've managed to grab myself around about 83 cotton right now and i've got seven more seeds to plant which will yield another 14 um, go plant those seeds, go harvest that cotton. It takes three cotton to make one cloth. Cloth is like gold in this game, and you're going to need a lot of it. I hope that video was helpful. Once again, these are the locations of the islands. I'll be down across the bottom of the screen. These are the locations. Go visit those islands. Take weaponry. You're going to need it. Or just be quick and sneaky. Either way. But that's how to grab cotton in this game to help you get all that beautiful cloth that you're going to need to make bandages plus all the rest of your equipment that you're going to need cloth for hope this video was helpful i'll catch you on future tutorials for sunken land and other games coming very soon thanks for watching everybody i'll catch you on the next one